Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Jurassic Park 30th anniversary set review. Today we are looking at set number 76961. This is the Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor Attack, retailing for $129.99 USD or $169.99 Canadian. This will be available beginning on June the 1st and was sent to me early by LEGO Slash Land to do a review for. And this is a set and a location that we have been wanting for I don't know how long, probably since we found out we could get Jurassic Park sets when they did one singular set back for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And ever since then, you know, this is the location. This is the the, the building. This is, this is it. This is what we've been wanting. And I think in some ways, I'm like, yes, this is great. And in other ways, I'm I'm disappointed, and I know that that sentiment is shared with a lot of people as well, especially the size of the building, and I think the price for the size of the building is not helping things. But let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at probably the most sought-after set that we've been asking for. So here it is, the Visitor Center on its own, and I think that uh, it, it, I wish it was bigger because the, the steps going up, it, it's just... It would have been great to get more steps. And I think that the fact that it's just two and then you're there, I don't know. I, uh, it's just a missed opportunity, I think. And I don't know when the next time is, 35 of year anniversary, that they'll circle back around to this. But I'll just show you a quick, you know, spin around here, 360. Since uh, we never saw this picture on Shop at Home without it being covered up by some of the dinosaurs. So, yeah, let's go through here. So here's the front entrance, and I think that these stickers look really, really cool. They're very detailed. I love the fossils and all that. Also, the archway there I think looks really nice. One of the downsides of, uh, again, it being only two steps is there's this really cool water feature, and it's only got one level of it. It would have been cool to see how LEGO could tackle that sort of waterfall flowing feature down the steps to the left and the right of it. But uh, over here, this is what the left side looks like. I really love all the little flowers growing there, as well as these parts being used uh, for the decorations around the windows look great. You've also got uh, this little, I guess, balcony part up here, and there is a little bit of a spot for you to put a minifigure up there. And here's what the other side looks like. Um, just I think that it's the exact same flower design and everything as well, just reflected here on the other side. Before we step in, I just want to admire the roof. I think that the way that they've done the roof is quite cool with all of these parts and everything there. I don't think it looks the best from the other side. It was like these hanging over here. I, I, I don't know about that, but at least from the front, I think it looks pretty cool. But let's now go on inside. First thing you may notice here is uh, this giant banner. And I think that, you know, the fact that they've included this iconic banner, it's like the one of the final shots, you know, of the film is really great with the dinosaur and, and everything here that it actually has a, a play feature. What you do is you can maybe see there, I'll show you it better in a second, but all you do is you push forward and it'll drop out the uh the one side of the banner and then of course it's so easy to uh, remove them from the little spots there because you could take the banner and just sort of have it on there i still think that's really cool you could put it like in the in the teeth if you wanted to i don't know d different things but uh the fact that they have the banner here included maybe it's the angle that i've got the t-rex on and you could put it there probably bend it to, I don't know if I want to do that for mine, but. So here's that play feature. By the way, you just push forward. The inside of the little, like main entrance, it's pretty empty. You've got a couple of plants there to the left and the right, as well as you could see these really great looking like artwork there that you, you see all throughout uh, the visitor center. But that looks really cool. These are actually dinosaurs we've never got before. So hopefully that's a reference to, and a little tease that we could be getting some more. And then of course, uh, the Raptor there on the other side looks really cool, that design. I thought, you know, let's go in order of the actual 
movies events right so we've got this really cool lab section i really love this build that's so cool they're studying the amber there you can see one of the uh amber uh one by one bricks there with the mosquito in it as well as a little lamp on the desk this computer build with an egg hatching looks great like just to remove this here to show you the uh design of that i i think that's that's pretty cool i really like it and you've got the giant a CPU there and uh, a keyboard as well as in the back probably one of my favorite things in the set is Mr. DNA and I love that they've included him here on that uh, that piece I think is a lot of fun to have a sticker of him with the little Lego hands and you can see uh, the artwork there in behind as well looks really great you've also got this little egg incubator with uh, this claw that's meant to like imagine you just go on down and rotate the eggs that's the bucket handle piece and it's just it's far too wide to grab anything there the egg would just fall on down but uh, let me just put that on back there and you can close the incubation uh, device on up there here's the dining hall you've got some little pot lights up there as well as on the ceiling a fan that's that's pretty cool that they included that as well as in the back you could see the uh raptor there all right let me just try and see here you can't oh you get a shadow that's pretty cool but it's clearly not at all the exact same size because this this raptor is is so big but uh anyways we've got uh, in the front here we've got this little section at the uh, table and you know you gotta come up with like a mold for them to sit besides the really cool build that we've gotten for rivendale but I think that we need to have a way to have our, our little vertically challenged uh, figures to uh, sit down. But to, I, I love the tablecloth. The designs for that is really great. He's got a whole platter of like a bunch of different treats. Also the jello there. Obviously can't make it vibrate, but that's that's pretty cool. And in the back there, you've got some candles, some ice cream, again, some uh, different treats. And then this cake which uh, the frog piece is in each of the Jurassic uh, Park sets. And uh, this is where it is here included. Also, there's this little flower vase and pot there in the corner. Also, something that's included is the T-Rex fossils here. And it's completely brick built. We've had an actual version that would be to scale from Jurassic World, I think it was two waves ago summer wise or spring wise and yeah I, it's just not as good i do like the brick built head i think that looks honestly that that's pretty cool how they've done that the jaw can't actually open and close there but even the front of the the nose that that well done there but scale wise and size wise it just doesn't really make any sense if you look at it like this here like this is them next to each other and i have like that's it sort of standing in the same pose i'd have to bend it lower to get in frame like that's how big you'll see it in a second but uh i don't know it's fine i guess it's an important part of the final scene and everything there and uh in the front you do have this little t-rex sticker there as well but not one of my favorite parts of this set something really interesting about uh most of the sets is that all the dinosaurs are coming in the paper bags here i guess this is the first set to roll these out, but yeah, you just tear it there and you can pour out uh, the different sections and... So it's just like the other dinosaur bags from before. Here's the brand new T-Rex included for the set. I believe all the prints and everything here are new and it looks great. Like all the scratches and all that, you know, this is the most iconic dinosaur, I would say, th throughout them all because of the, the ending and just the first film. I think it looks great. Like just looking up here in the front of the eyes and uh, all the, the pattern there, like at the front of the mouth, that's incredible. And this is what the other side looks like there and you saw obviously how many parts bunch of bunch of different parts here but you can open the mouth you can sort of pose it halfway through or completely open it up 
and you should be able to actually take one of the minifigures and fit it inside of uh, the T-Rex's mouth there if you wanted to do that and change the story up a bit. You can have one leg even standing up there. Also, the tail spins around 360 and same with the head all the way around there too. So here is the Velociraptor. And what's cool about this is if you get uh, the whole wave and specifically the smallest and largest set, you get two raptors which play a part in the final battle so that's really cool but they're both the same i really like the design for this that they've created the uh, eyes there are obviously very very creepy and they look great as well as the jaw can open up there he'd even sort of pose it halfway there open as well as you've got a couple spots there on the back if you want to attach a figure the head can rotate all the way around and the little arms can go up and down as well as the feet there. You could have it jumping and different things, but uh, that's the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Velociraptor. Here is Dr. Alan Grant, and this is a new version for him. He's got a shirt there that will appear clean in another set, but it's all dirty and muddy because it's from the end of the film. I think that's very fun that they decided to do that. Uh, the hair piece there, I think it, it works for him, honestly. I, I don't think that's too bad. The messy hair there for him, as well as you can see his smile there. The face, I think, looks great. He doesn't have a second head because of when he's wearing his hat, you wouldn't be able to cover that up, but they should be using the Indiana Jones piece, honestly, that was just introduced. But that's what the back torso printing looks like. Here is Dr. Ellie Sattler, and she's actually the character that appears in most of the sets. But what's great about her is she's got a brand new exclusive outfit for this set. Just like Alan, this is uh, all muddy and dirty. The dry dirt and mud looks great. Uh, the legs are used throughout all the sets. Same here with this face. But uh, the hair, having it down, um, that's uh, a little different here for this set or this version. It's not in each of them, but there's what her back scared expression looks like and the back torso printing. Here is Tim Murphy, and he looks really great here in, again, a dried, muddy outfit. The fact that his outfit there is all these different browns and everything, I think it's so fun that they included that. Like, it's so unnecessary. I really just... Ah, so, so cool. But uh, the hair and everything there, Emmett's hair in that color is pretty cool to get. Also, if I remove the hair there, you could see his smile. And on the back, he's got this scared, concerned expression. And that's what the back torso printing looks like for him. Here's Lex Murphy. Again, another dried mud outfit for her instead of like the purple shirt that we've got before. It's, it's all muddy really fun i like the hair piece here as well in this color looks so be much better i think for her than what we've gotten before and uh removing that you could see this concerned expression and uh, that pattern there all muddy as well here is dr henry Wu, and uh, this is a great figure for him we've never gotten him from jurassic park before so i really like his uh, outfit that he's got on also this is the first time that he's able to use the new skin color as well i think he looks great there and i like the smile that he's got and removing the hair there you get a better look at the face and on the back that uh, that looks a lot like him there, I think. But uh, the back torso as well has some printing and wrinkles. And here is Mr. Ray Arnold. And this is a great figure here. The fact that, you know, no longer exclusive to that door. But it's a fun variant. He, he's got his tie around his neck there. As well as you can see a bit of his, his chest showing through. I like the back torso there. All the wrinkles and everything there. The face expression is awesome. Removing the hair, you could see his uh, face there, and on the other side, this concerned or scared expression. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor attack set. I, I don't know. I, I, I look at it this way, right? This is what we've been asking for for a really long time. We've been asking for a large version as well, and that was probably a, a big part of that. But instead, they've decided to make a playset for kids. I think that it gets the job done for sure. You've got the lap. You've got the little, you know, spot even pretended for the park open to have guests eating. I think that's fun. The two dinosaurs included, the figures here too, are all really, really great. It's just the price. I know that a lot of people have a big problem with that, but that's just typical for Jurassic Park. To me, I think the bigger issue is this could have been better. This could have been bigger and better. 
and could have had more rooms and things from the visitor center that I think would have been really appreciated for this momentous anniversary. But anyways, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on future Lego Jurassic Park set news and reviews just like this one. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you will have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.